Your doctor has recommended that you undergo a myringotomy in order to drain fluid or to treat an infection in the middle ear. But what does that actually mean? The human ear is made up of two chambers, the inner ear and the middle ear. The middle ear is sealed off from the outside environment by the tympanic membrane, or eardrum. In a healthy ear, this membrane acts to protect the delicate interior of the ear from contamination. Occasionally, however, allergy, infection, or other irritation can cause a buildup of pus, blood, and other fluids within the middle ear. In these cases, the seal created by the eardrum acts to prevent proper drainage and can actually pose a health risk. Symptoms can include pain caused by the buildup of pressure and even hearing loss. If left untreated, the buildup of fluid can damage the delicate structures located behind the eardrum, leading to temporary or even permanent hearing loss. A myringotomy is a simple procedure in which a small tube is inserted into the eardrum in order to allow fluids to drain out of the middle ear, reducing pressure and allowing any infection to be treated with antibiotics. On the day of your operation, you will be asked to put on a surgical gown. You may receive a sedative by mouth and an intravenous line may be put in. You will then be transferred to the operating table. The surgeon will apply an antiseptic solution to the skin on the interior of the ear canal and will then swab the area around the eardrum with a local anesthetic. While the anesthetic is taking effect, the surgeon will position a microscope in front of the ear. When the operative field is numb, the surgeon will use the microscope to help make a very small incision in the lower part of the eardrum so that the fluid can drain harmlessly away. In most cases, one or more drainage tubes are left in place to continue to allow fluid to escape during healing. Sutures are not required, as the eardrum will heal naturally. And the drainage tube will either fall out by itself, or it will be removed by the surgeon one to three weeks later.